Northern Territory Families Minister Dale Wakefield has thrown her support behind Chief Minister Michael Garner, saying a plot to oust him has been revealed as game-playing from people outside the party. Matt Cunningham joins me now live from Darwin. Matt, this follows revelations here on Sky News today that former Labor leader uh, Delia Laurie has been urging Labor members to move on, the Chief Minister. That's right, Tom. Those uh, text messages we obtained that were sent by Delia Laurie, the former Labor leader, to uh, Labor supporters. They were sent about uh, six weeks ago and uh, they were urging uh, some members of the Labor Party to uh, move on the Chief Minister, Michael Gunner. In those text message messages, she says, someone needs to call out Gunner, say that if he cared more about the Labor Party, the Labor government and the Territory than himself, he would resign to restore integrity and faith in government. That while he is there, every day he makes Labor unelectable. She goes, on to say that they should be getting people to believe that Eva Lawler is the most experienced and qualified. She has the strongest CV, no young kids and is a local territory born. You both know she is decent, with a good mind and a good heart. I don't know what she's been like in caucus, but surely she's been better than Gunner. Now, uh, Delia Laurie was rolled as the Labor leader in 2015 by Michael Gunner, who went on to win the 2016 election in a landslide. She quit the party after she was rolled uh, in her own seat, disendorsed. Uh, but uh, Dale Wakefield, the Families Minister, she was out this morning. She was asked if she'd ever seen those text messages that had been sent to people within the Labor Party by Delia Laurie. I saw the media report this morning and I think there's a lot of discussion by people who are outside of caucus, who perhaps want to be in caucus, um, about things that they have no knowledge of. Of course, Tom, this comes at a bad time for Labor, just a couple of days out from a federal election. A federal election that here in the Territory has been very much based on local Northern Territory issues. In fact, the country Liberal Party has been running a campaign to make this election a referendum on the Gunner Northern Territory government. Whether that will be successful or not, I'm not too sure. But this, all of this leadership speculation will not be helpful. It's also fair to say that the Chief Minister, Michael Gunner, has kept a very low profile since this federal election campaign has begun. In fact, he's held just two um, news conferences uh, in the past month. Uh, Dale Wakefield was asked about that and why we weren't seeing more of the Chief Minister in public. Um, no, he's been in Parliament with me all week. I, 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 I don't believe that there's been any... Um, I think this is part of the uh, sort of scurrilous rumour campaign that's going on and it's been shown today to be absolute game playing. Eva Lawler, Tom, the infrastructure minister who was touted as a potential plot replacement for Michael Gunner, has already ruled out that she has any designs on the leadership. I don't think we're going to see a leadership change here in the Northern Territory, but uh, Labor won't be uh, very happy about this news coming out just a couple of days before the federal election.